Hey guys, welcome, welcome back, back to Case Wall Love. So guys, like the amount of friends that we've had over the past few years has like shrunk. It's gotten like Huge. less and like, less and less. And we didn't even notice, <laughs> like time flies. Yeah, friends just yeah. fading away. And then life goes on, it's like it's grow. But you know what? <laughs> this is what we about to talk about today. Oh let's get into it. Let's get to the video. <laughs> Today we are going to be talking to you guys about something that is like we've been going through this. We've been going through this like the past so. year or so. But we want to discuss with you guys and just tell you guys like what we went through, and it doesn't get talked about a lot. So we want to why Shut not some mention light. it? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be talking to you guys about outgrowing friends, yeah. and it's sad, but it's real. It's life, it's, and it happens. It happens. And it's sometimes supposed to happen. Exactly. <laughs> Even when you think it's not, like you try so hard not to make it happen, but it does. It like, has to because you have to grow. Exactly. <laughs> so along with like outgrowing friends and like what we're talking about, guys, mm -hmm. and we got a question from one of you guys. They yes. DM'd Emily. <laughs> and we're not sure. I'm not sure if like you want me to say who you are in your situation, right. <laughs> but as you requested, we're going to be answering this on our next video. Here you go, girl. Yeah. Shout out to you. And like, we related to it so much. Yes. And we were like, like, yeah, like this is, we're not the only ones that went through this. And like, we were thinking about doing a video about like friends and stuff. So like your question was like, like what you DM me? I was like, spot on. Oh my God, <laughs> we're not alone. So thank you. We appreciate this. Yes. Like, <laughs> well, I'm ready to read it. There you go. <laughs> so she said, as you... She said, either one of you can answer this question, but mm -hmm. when it comes to the relationship you two have, how do you explain slash like express that to friends like of the two of us? So like how do we express to friends that we're dating basically, but not trying to say that we're dating? Or trying to like push your friends away yeah. either. Like, you know, I'm in a relationship now, but I'm not trying to push you away. Like we're still friends. I'm just letting you know that they have some of my time now too. Exactly. <laughs> And we, we answer. I know. <laughs> I feel like when you have multiple friends on both ends of the spectrum, they will want more from you. For example, like attention maybe. I don't know, like they will likely get jealous or something because of how close you are to one yes. another and vice versa. I really can't wait to answer that part. <laughs> and how either little or not at all you spend outside with others. Mm. True. So that with that being said, how do you and Cassandra deal with that? Like friends from both friends from both people. Yeah, most likely we'll get into yeah. that. <laughs> But sharing the space and time with them and also keeping the space and time with, like, just not having jealousy being in the way of that friendship. Yeah, exactly. So, I'm actually struggling with that. And, like, we all have lives and it's difficult to explain that to your friends. And you constantly know, crave that I attention and <laughs> wanting to hang out. Like, man, that's my dog, you know? <laughs> so, you need that extra quality time. But she said, I don't know, Elba. I'm trying to word it in the best way. But I, that I can, but if you get it, good. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I comprehend this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, we got you. <laughs> yeah, so I know we discussed on not saying your name, but girl, I feel you. I yes. feel you. And yeah, like, yeah. this was definitely something that Cassandra was struggling with, like the most. Like trying to please me and yeah. please her friends and battle between the two. It's, and it's like, like a constant struggle. And so let me just tell you my story. <laughs> let me tell you guys all my story. So with having friends and also being with Emily, it was really hard because with friends, you know, the quality time and like hanging out with them is like 
you're, you're, you're so used to that. So this is adding one extra person to my life. Mm-hmm. Like, this is someone which is actually going to stay. And it's not like someone that's coming in my life. And I'm like, um, iffy. I'm not sure. Yeah, and I feel like that's what friends are used to because we were so young. And it's like people that we did talk to was like, yeah. whatever. But it's like, no, like, this is actually my girlfriend. And y'all actually have to, like, let me talk about her with y'all. <laughs> or... Exactly. So... <laughs> When it came to hanging out with my friends, it felt like I was a whole different person. And when it came to being with Babe, I felt like I was so good. And it was just so hard to combine the two. But that's when you know life moves on because, you know, with the whole sexual orientation of, like, who we are. And most people don't. Yeah, and like you it. said, Babe, like, a lot of times, like, when you would hang out with your friends, you would yeah. be like, you know, they're talking about this, like, boys and that, this and that. And exactly. then, like, when you talk about me, it's like, oh, it's foreign. It's, it's so, like... It's so different. Oh. Exactly. And it's like, well, why are we friends? If you guys could talk about y'all relationship and y'all could talk about, like, things that y'all do in y'all everyday lifestyle, why can't I talk about mine? Isn't that yeah. what a friendship is for? Exactly. So it's like, no point. So, I mean, even if you don't relate to it, it doesn't matter you can still be a friend and especially know? the fact that like a lot of the friends that like Cassandra did have like weren't okay with like me hanging out with them too yeah. <laughs> yeah. so it was like which made my anxiety rise yeah <laughs> so it's like hard because we're together all the time and we you you saying like I can't come yeah. so Cassandra's not gonna want to come or I'm not gonna want to come if you say Cassandra can't come and I'm telling you it's, <laughs> it's foreign again when we're together because it's like different it's like something they're not used to but it takes that other person too it takes growth for them to learn that this is okay this is growth this is not me anymore this and is who you, I am are now. you gonna grow with me like we're supposed to be exactly. friends are you growing with me or not like mm-hmm. clearly you're not trying to understand my my lifestyle like you no for real yeah, like I know. friends like you, you know they act like they have so much love and loyalty for you but truly yeah. you're just being selfish like. honestly <laughs> and say, friends, <laughs> friends. <laughs> we can talk about friends i can talk about friends <laughs> all day <laughs> friends oh, <laughs> you also mentioned something about jealousy and like attention i feel oh. like that's what it is like it's attention yeah. and like for cassandra like like her friends like they would always come to cassandra's apartment like cassandra was the go-to place honestly so all of them were over there so they had your t- you had you know they had like, your attention exactly so i was always devoted to like time like every event i was always there for real. like no oh my God. i was always faithful like, for real so it became to the time when all that time of doing all that I want to spend that low key now with her, and I want to be with Emma. You know, I want to be in a what relationship. Are. Exactly, it's growing. It's like, I, like Adulting. I was everywhere, out and about, and giving time here and there. But yeah, I just you got to buckle up. Yeah, I have to start my life <laughs> exactly. and start my family, and you know, mm. this is what life is about. Like, it's not about like staying hip to your friends twenty four seven. Honestly, like, so all day, like. You can't. That doesn't mean you can't hang out with your friends, though. No, you're gonna have friends. You're gonna have, you're gonna friends. have friends, and you have to but make time for your friends. Those, sorry, it's sorry. Go ahead, man. I'm We're sorry. So strong. <laughs> We're so much stronger this topic. <laughs> but you will have friends, and you will meet new friends, and those friends will be able to accommodate your needs. Like for me, I feel like I was definitely like the same way. Like I was that devoted friend. Like, honestly, like, I had, like, one main friend, and, like, I was friends with him, like, forever. Like, we did everything together. Like, he had all my time, and I pretty much had all his time in a way. So, you know, we we were doing everything together. Like, you know, we're going to go here, we're going to go there. So, when Cassandra came along, and it was, like, a huge switch. And at that time, like, I even got that apartment with him. Like, I got, like, my first ever apartment with him. Like, we were roommates and everything. And And Cassandra, like, came. And it was kind of like she was starting to take my time. And I truly feel like that's kind of, like, why we drifted apart. Because there was really, you know, like, he didn't understand that this is a relationship, you know. And, like, it just got, like, It just got crazy out of hand because maybe like you don't you talk do, you don't talk that's okay? what it is the discussion had to be made you know with certain people it's like it's different with everybody i think know? that's the big factor is to communicate with your yeah. friends like talk to them tell them mm-hmm. how you feel like friendships and relationships are the same it's still a relationship it's true like you have to be able to talk to your friends and tell them like how do you feel this is how i feel so like, there's no surprises exactly so- 
and like my situation ended up being surprises. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was it, it just blew out of hand for no reason just because we simply didn't communicate. But at the same time, we had to outgrow. Like we been, we pretty much outgrowed each other, exactly. so we can grow in life, and that's what it's about as well. So I know it's sad that like you know you lose friends, but at the end mm -hmm. of the day, like sometimes it has to happen has to. in order for you to grow within yourself, grow alone. Yeah, because you so like I said, There's I was doing so everything to with him. So and now this is from yeah. like kindergarten until now. I see so until yeah. college until last year. So we stopped being friends. So it's like. Now I'm with Cassandra. Now I'm, you know, I was, I was that type of friend that like I wasn't really like in relationship. So I was always there, like you know, my friends they go through a breakup. I'm like, I'm here for you, you know, <laughs> because I was so low key and I was always scared. Like I had like gay girls in my school, but I was scared to date them because I was, I didn't want nobody to know I was gay, y'all. So I was like, no, they go to my school, and no. Like I talked to girls, I was like online, like that little far as hell, because I didn't want nobody to know. So I was always that friend. I was just there, entertaining my friends, always there, ready to have fun. So. So yeah. that kind of switched when me and Cassandra got yeah. together, and it's it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. You'll feel like man, like things have changed, but things could change it to greater for the better. Yeah. yeah. And at the end of the day, you still have time to reconnect with your friends yeah. in a later time. They may not understand now. Y'all may not understand each other's point of view now, but yeah, maybe one day you will. There's things in life you have to go through alone. Sometimes. Alone, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And what's meant for you will always be, be for, for you. you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trying to be like me. <laughs> I think the biggest thing, too, is the fact that, like, we were all born on this earth individually. For, yeah. Like, we have our own past, our own destination, you know? So, you know, it may be a point where, you know, you and your friend cross paths for now. But at the end of the day, you're going to cross. You may cross. Again. And you may not be the same person. That's why I try to tell people, like, I'm not the same person that I used to be. And Before. there's nothing wrong with that. I'm growing. Exactly. And it's, <laughs> it's not like you're going to say that same person and we like the same things. But it's like you, you're still growing. And, like, people become friends for years. And that's it's, the thing. Do you, are you going to have people that are going to be there for you regardless of who you turn out to be, no matter who you grow or change into, like, your true form? That's exactly. the question. Like you said, people have been friends for years. years. <laughs> like, and they want to people. stick through it. You know, go through that change. And it's, it's like, real. whoa. Real. <laughs> and I constantly tell Emily, like, yo, we're going to be different. A couple. Mm -hmm. I know it. And I see it. And I know the constant change is coming. You just got to be prepared because it's, it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. We're going to grow within each other in this yeah. relationship. That's what so. it's about. And your friends, too. <laughs> they going to grow into something you may even love more. And you're like, whoa, like, you're you're becoming more and more like my best friend like and that's why i do appreciate the friends that we do have the ones that actually do understand our relationship exactly. and understand like how close we are me and cassandra are so close like this is my best friend now like since like forever <laughs> like this is like my best friend so it's like i appreciate that we have friends that understand that and support yeah. us and i love that so much because it makes me feel comfortable and it makes me feel like yeah, yeah, I can't be myself. Like, my friends understand, you know. And, and they talk to us. They talk to exactly. both of us. Like, family, too. Like, they talk to both of us. You like, know, it's comforting, like, you know, that that they're, they support you. And yeah. And that, you know, like, like I was telling Cassandra, like, if if they don't want to be around Cassandra, if, they, if you're not okay with that, if you're not okay with both of us being around each other with you, then yeah, there's no it's point. Not work. Like, like you don't time. have no problem. You have a problem with her. You have a problem with me. Like, I'm not <laughs> going. Like, no. Like, we don't have to be around each other. If it's such an issue for you, like, no. It's not. Like, <laughs> we don't have to do it. But, like, honestly, like, I'm so thankful for her friends because they made me feel so welcoming. And, like, my friends, too, they, like... They make her feel so welcoming, welcoming too. And the first some. time, well, some, <laughs> some yeah, of your some. <laughs> but like honestly, the first time I hung out with her group of friends, they made me feel like I already knew them. So yeah, like, my it, friends. That's are how like cool it was. Real. Yeah. I love my friends. Yeah. <laughs> the ones that I choose, are right friends. Yeah, the very few that I have, like, are really like genuine and fun people, and they're gonna make you feel comfortable. And that's. That's what it's about, like surrounding yeah. yourself about <clears throat> like good, around people, people with like, good energy yeah. and things like that. Like, Something what you look forward into, you know. Exactly. And I'm sure you don't want bad for yourself, guys. <laughs> yeah. <for sure. laughs> so like at the end of the day, if you're not happy, you just gotta make sure you're happy. Yeah, yeah. like if, if they don't support if your family or friends don't support your lifestyle or support how close you are within your relationship like yeah. don't be around them like i suggest Honestly. you try to communicate that to them like express how you feel 
if they not with it, yeah. if they don't understand, if they try to brush it off, ignore it, if they make you feel uncomfortable about being yourself, then you don't you just, need that. You don't need that because it's, you're just blocking yourself away from greatness. From greatness, you're yeah. Amazing. And it's people that will be there that will support you for being just as amazing as you exactly. are. Exactly. <laughs> and that's new meeting new friends. Yeah. They're going to love that because then you start meeting the right people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So don't don't feel bad if y'all are too close. Exactly. Like, no, yeah. me and Cassandra are close, and it's my baby. And if you if somebody want to be friends with us, what's up? <laughs> like, and I really got something to say. I've been over here fidgeting. Like, ooh. what? But um, I actually got a DM too from someone else, oh. and they were like thinking about losing friends from church because of it. Oh. So it was very different, and it's like the same thing with friends too on what what I went through, and I definitely went through that, especially with you know at church too i feel like church is like cousins like you don't really choose yeah like i mean we just so happen that our our parents are friends or are, are, are yeah. so close and we go to the same church and we're at the same age so we're it's convenient i feel yeah. like that's what friends are it's like we're convenient we're both going to church at this time we but, don't want to be here or we do want to be here so let's do it together let's enjoy the time while it's here or sorry babe like at school too like I'm, I mean, I'm friends with you guys because we're at school right now at the yeah. same time. We see each other five days a week, so we've created such a bond. We did, But yeah. at the end of the day, when school's <clears throat> over or when we stop going to church, what yeah. else is there really? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But I can't say Sorry, I do man. have. <laughs> you <cut> you off. <laughs> but I am thankful for the friends that I do have mm -hmm. still stuck with me because of their religious, you know, because of their beliefs too. And they still stuck friends with me not letting yeah. that interfere with our relationship so because I like they're that. strong in their beliefs in their exactly. past and they understand that this is your life and whatever you want to do is cool and right. i feel like I, I just respect people that respect other people's lifestyle i do and don't try to judge or make anybody how they want exactly. it, life to be like that's not how it is there's no rule book <laughs> that's what diversity is like that's yeah. the that's the world like if we were all the same this world would not go around it would not it would just be so, bland and everybody would be the same and like what's to pick out what's yeah. different about everybody you know so yeah we're all different and we have to embrace that and <laughs> Let your friends know what's up. <laughs> that's for anybody. And that's what we've been doing. That's why a lot of times like we've been losing a lot of our friends this year because we've been getting into those uncomfortable situations that we've been, you know, yeah. trying to tip avoid, tiptoe around because we've been so friends. And then I realized so I wasn't even able to be in a... <laughs> before with friends it's like i wasn't even able to be in a relationship with her because i was just so worried about friends yeah and so you know i didn't even want to struggle with it and that was me too like like i was that type of friend like i didn't care about third women like hey, hey. we still out we still about to have a good time i can hang out with couples like, i didn't care it's like what is a third <laughs> wheel you know right we what? all friends like what's <laughs> up we can we can change it we can all be friends we can all be cool yeah so. but being on the other side like with with us like being in a relationship like like with our friends like I feel like it's uncomfortable sometimes yeah. but with the friends that we had lost it's like uncomfortable like me and Cassandra had to pretend to be friends when we're around you like it's not yeah. gonna work we all we gotta pretend to be true. friends and it's like that's what I meant by having to stop being in a relationship because it did change it would be like foreign once again because it's like we're not we're always like this for I'm always over her and no then PDA, we, we're just we just like whoa. touchy yeah so <laughs> I feel like like when we're with like certain friends like people that make you friends that make you feel uncomfortable to touch my girlfriend and to be on her and stuff because yeah. you know how they're gonna feel about exactly. it like no it, it's not worth it like yeah express yourself <laughs> yeah just be with your loved one yeah, yeah. live your life <laughs> hey <laughs> Yes, please don't hey. forget to please, please, please hey. follow, follow us on, on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram, oh. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Sandra Smiles <laughs> underscore and Trendy Trendy Emily. Emily. <laughs> follow us. And please, please, guys, subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe, mm -hmm. give this video a thumbs, thumbs up. up. And then just make sure that, like, you make time for people that you love. Everybody. Like, everybody mm -hmm. that you love. Like, if you're focused on your relationship, that's okay. But communicate with your friends. If you can't yeah. see them, text them, call them. Let them know you're still there for them. That's what yeah. friends are about, being there for each and other communication no matter what. works. Even though you're really, like, far away, it's like, oh, dang, we won't spend enough time. But let them know why you won't be spending why? enough time. What like, you're going let through. Let them know like, so they are in the known. So they feel like they're still your friend. Like, exactly. they're still there for you. You're still there for them. 
So. It's a friendship. It's a relationship. Exactly. And I was saying there shouldn't be any confusion <laughs> with any of that. Thank you guys for all the support that you guys give us. Thank you. We appreciate it so much, guys. Yes. Thank you. And DM us some more. Sorry, but DM us some more questions like this. We really like this. And yes. this is stuff that we're obviously passionate about. So DM us on Instagram. Like, comment below. Let us know. Like, and guys, please, if you enjoy watching our videos, please share, share it. Share, share with it. anyone. <laughs> please. Friends, family. Like, if you Sister. truly enjoy watching our video, you feel like a family or friend may enjoy watching it, send them the link. Like, yes, support. Send them to them. <laughs> Especially, you know, please. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys, guys so much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye. Love you. Mm. I love you too, friend.